Lesson 2. Online Safety, Security, and Netiquette The Internet is the guiding technology of the information technology age just as the electrical engine was of the industrial age. In these times, more and more people are already engaged in the use of technology. These people who are raised in a digital, media-saturated world are called digital natives. No doubt, the Internet has been very useful to us but with the rise of instant messaging, chat rooms, emails and social networking sites, it can also bring trouble, from cyberbullying to more serious Internet dangers, including exposure to sexual predators. Thus, Internet safety is always our primary concern. Objective By the end of this lesson, you are expected to 1. Identify what constitutes appropriate and inappropriate online behavior. 2. Apply Internet online safety, security ethics, and etiquette standards and practice in the use of ISTs. 3. Discern possible deceptive information and wrongly evaluated data. Online safety refers to the practices and precautions that should be observed when using the Internet to ensure that the users as well as their computers and personal information are safe from crimes associated with using the Internet. Below are personal information that must be kept confidential. There are numerous delinquencies that can be committed on the Internet such as stalking, identity theft, privacy violations, and harassment. To avoid these online crimes, follow the following online safety measures. Never give any personal information out about yourself over the Internet. Do not give any banking or sensitive information unless you are sure that it is a reputable business having a secure service. To make sure that you are in a secured network, the website address should begin with HTTPS slash slash as opposed to HTTP slash slash. Never access your accounts by following an email link, instead type your URL by yourself. Never open messages or attachments from someone you do not know. Regularly review your privacy settings in your online accounts to make sure you are not sharing important personal information. When using a public computer terminal, be sure to delete your browsing data before leaving. Keep your software updated to avoid security holes. Do not download or install software or anything on your computer or cell phone that is unknown to you. Netiquette is a combination of the words network and etiquette and is defined as a set of rules for acceptable online behavior. Similarly, online ethics focuses on the acceptable use of online resources in an online social movement. 10 Core Rules of Netiquette 1. Remember the human. 2. Adhere to the same standard of behavior online that you follow in real life. 3. Know where you are in cybercrime. 4. Respect other people's time and bandwidth. 5. Make yourself look good time. 6. Share expert knowledge. 7. Help keep flame wars under control. 8. Respect other people's privacy. 9. Don't abuse your power. 10. Be forgiving of other people's mistakes. Flame War is a series of flame posts or messages in a thread that are considered derogatory in nature or are completely off-topic. Often these flames are posted for the sole purpose of offending or upsetting other users. The flame becomes a flame war when other users respond to the thread with their own flame message. Kinds of online threats. There is no doubt that you need to be vigilant online. As the World Wide Web evolved over the years, many Internet predators have been playing on vulnerabilities to attack computers and retrieve sensitive data from individuals. Half the time, we aren't even aware it is happening until it is too late. Online threat is deemed any malicious act that attempts to gain access to a computer network without authorization or permission from the owners. These are usually done by computer hackers who uses the World Wide Web to facilitate cybercrime. Web threats use multiple types of malware and fraud, all of which utilize HTTP or HTTPS protocols, but may also employ other protocols and components, such as links in email or instant messaging apps, or any malware attachments on servers that access the web. 
they benefit cybercriminals by stealing information for subsequent sale and help absorb infected PCs into botnets. Web threats pose a broad range of risks, including financial damages, identity theft, loss of confidential information slash data, theft of network resources, damaged brand slash personal reputation, and erosion of consumer confidence in e-commerce and online banking. Kinds of online threats that you should be aware of. Malware, stands for malicious software, is any program or file that is harmful to a computer user. Different kinds of malware. Virus. Worm. Trojan. Spyware. Adware. Virus a malicious program designed to replicate itself and transfer from one computer to another either through the internet and local networks or data storage like flash drive and CDs. Worm a malicious program that transfer from one computer to another by any type of means. Often, it uses a computer network to spread itself. For example the e worm, love bug worm, created by a Filipino. Trojan or Trojan Horse a malicious program that is disguised as a useful program but once downloaded or installed, leaves your PC unprotected and allows hackers to get your information. Spyware is malware that secretly observes the computer user's activities without permission and reports it to the software's author. Example is a K-logger. K-loggers used to record the keystroke done by the users. This is done to steal their password or any other sensitive information. It can record email, messages, or any information you type using your keyboard. Adware, advertising supported software, is unwanted software designed to throw advertisements up on your screen. Example, pop-up ads and banner ads. To spam are unsolicited emails, instant messages coming from recipients that are not granted verifiable permission for the message to be sent spam messages can be damaging if you open or respond to it three phishing its goal is to acquire sensitive personal information like passwords and credit cards details this is done by sending you an email that will direct the user to visit a website and be asked to update his slash her username password credit card or personal information for internet scam generally refers to someone using internet services or software to defraud or take advantage of victims, typically for financial gain. Cybercriminals may contact potential victims through personal or work email accounts, social networking sites, dating apps, or other methods in attempts to obtain financial or other valuable personal information. Online scams may come in various forms such as lottery scam, charity fraud scams, job offer scams, and online dating scams to name a few. Five internet robots are also known as spiders, crawlers, and web bots. It is a software application that is programmed to do certain tasks. Bots are automated, which means they run according to their instructions without a human user. Some bots are useful, such as search engine bots that index content for search or customer service bots that help users. Other bots are bad and are programmed to break into user accounts, scan the web for contact information for sending spam, or perform other malicious activities. If it's connected to the internet, a bot will have an associated IP address. 7. Cyberstalking, refers to the use of the internet or other electronic device to harass or stalk individuals or organizations. 6. Cyberbullying, refers to the act of tormenting, harassing, or embarrassing another person using the internet. 7. Spoofing happens when someone or something pretends to be something else to gain our confidence, get access to our systems, steal data, steal money, or spread malware.